Hey everyone, I'm Mike Healy. I'm a 500 hour yoga teacher here at Maine General. I offer classes through the Peter Alphon Prevention and Healthy Living Center. Uh, I also offer classes through my LLC, Archangel Yoga, located here in Augusta, uh, and also at the Travis Mills Foundation uh, for recalibrated warriors and their families. So I know in the era of COVID, it's been a little bit difficult to, to get our bodies moving. Um, you know, some of these classes maybe we used to go to or our usual physical fitness routine or yoga classes or whatever, um, you know, we're not able to go to now. So it's extremely difficult. So um, through these classes, we're hoping to bring, you know, bring some opportunities for, for everybody to, to start moving a little bit again um, and, you know, just keep our bodies healthy. So what we're going to be doing is, is just kind of some intro, um, intro to sun salutations A and B, which are some fundamental kind of movement, um, you know, warm up type stuff within, within yoga. Um, and so if, if the term sun salutation A and B mean absolutely nothing to you, uh, no big deal. That's I remember when I first walked into a yoga studio and I looked around and I was like, I have no idea like, what's happening around me right now or what everyone is doing or what I'm supposed to be doing. And it felt like a game of twister. So um, perfectly natural if, if that's the case. Um, <clears throat> before we get going, you know, if you have any prior injuries, um, it, you know, I definitely recommend talking to a doctor first before doing any of these classes or attempting any of this. Just make sure that yoga and your body, you know, this is the right thing for your body at this time. Um, you know, it's different in person, able to modify, adapt, and, and it can be a little bit safer. But, so if you have any concerns, then maybe recommend not doing this or again talk with your doctor. Um, also, if, if you know your body's healthy, and if at any point, you know, there's something we're doing where maybe you get winded, lightheaded, um, or there's any kind of pain, like, you know, especially numbness, electrical tingling, um, that kind of pain that's not, you know, like a stretch, you know, kind of healthy sort of discomfort. Um, definitely recommend, you know, back off. Um, feel free to stop. That's totally okay. Um, and then we'll also kind of show you, we'll start off with kind of a resting pose that you can take at any point throughout this practice. So, um, bottom line, like, let's just have some fun. Uh, it's, it's just yoga. It's really not that big of a deal. So if you get frustrated, you're like, I have no idea what he's saying here. I can't keep up. Like, it's really okay, adjust, make it your own. Make it at your pace, do what you can with your body. Everybody's body is different, everybody's body has a different story, so it's all good. So, with all that out of the way, I know, now we're ready to get moving. So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start in child's pose. <clears throat> so, coming down onto our mat, or if you don't have a mat, you just have a floor, no big deal, that works too. <clears throat> so coming down onto our mat, we're just gonna bring our, our big toes together in the back. And then bring our sit bones onto our, our heels. And so already, some of you may be looking at this like, no, there's no way I can do that. Um, and that's fine. It's okay. It's, you know, totally. So what we can do if you've got a rolled blanket is you can go ahead and roll the blanket, put that on top of your calves, between your hamstrings and your calves. And that can keep you somewhat elevated so there's not as much pressure on your knees, not as much on your, your quads. Um, other option, if you have, you know, if you do have a yoga block, maybe a stack of books, uh, maybe a really firm pillow, you can put that between your feet and between your legs and then rest your sit bones on top of that. That way it's not so much pressure on the knees. But so from here, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and walk our hands forward, hinging at our hips, and just try to find some length in our spine. If our forehead makes it down to the mat, cool. If not, again, maybe a rolled blanket, maybe a book, all kinds of options. And so we're just gonna to start to find our breath here. You know that thing we do all day, every day without ever thinking about it. And so just breathing in and out through our nose, just with our inhales directing our breath to our belly. And maybe starting to soften into our mat, letting our forearms come down onto our mat, our elbows. And with our inhales, noticing our belly, maybe making contact with our thighs, expanding. And then with our exhales, just noticing our ribs contracting. So just taking several breaths here, just checking in, seeing how we're feeling today, physically, mentally. And 
so then from here, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and we're going to start to set up for our first downward facing dog. So we can go ahead and come on up to our hands and knees. And then we're going to bring our hands towards the front of our yoga mat <clears throat> or our floor. Just slightly ahead of our shoulders. We want our fingers spread nice and wide to support our wrists, otherwise sometimes we get a little bit of pain in our wrists if we're putting way too much pressure here. So we want our fingers spread nice and wide so we can prep, put weight kind of in each knuckle of our fingers. <laughs> kind of like maybe Spider-Man crawling up the building or something. So we've got our, our arms are nice and wide, fingers are spread nice and wide. And so then from here, we're just going to go ahead and tuck our toes. So toes are curled under. And then press down into our palms, press down into our toes, lift our hips, and just bring our body into like an inverted V. And so go ahead. I, I personally like kind of an open, wide down dog. You know, you'll find your own. Um, <clears throat> and so I bring my feet out, maybe the width of my mat even. And then it's pressing down and forward into my hands, pushing my sit bones, my tailbone, back and up, trying to form like a straight line between like the base of my neck and the top of my tailbone. And so letting our head hang, bringing our, our focal point of our eyes back towards our feet. And if we're able to straighten our legs, maybe try to get those heels down onto our mat, that's cool. And if you're laughing at the idea of that, that's totally okay too. So then go ahead on our next exhale, what we're going to do is just nice and slow walk our feet towards our hands. And so we're just coming into a forward fold. And so we can have, you know, a bend in our knees, rest our belly on our thighs. And don't feel like you need to completely lock your knees out and go for this super deep hamstring stretch on cold muscles. But so we're just bending our knees, just let our arms hang, let our head hang. Feel free to kind of rock side to side or sway. And so then on our next inhale, just go ahead. We're going to come halfway up to a halfway lift. <clears throat> so hands can be on our shins or just above our knees on our thighs. Flat back. So our sit bones are pushing back like they're going through the wall behind us. The crown of our head extending in front of us, just trying to create length. On our next exhale, we're just going to go ahead, <coughs> fold over, and on our next inhale, rise all the way up to standing, extended mountain, and on an exhale, go ahead, bring our hands down to heart center. <coughs> and so then from here, we're going to go ahead and we'll start our sun salutation A. So that's kind of just like a little bit of a check-in. And so start with an inhale, we're just going to go ahead, extend our fingertips up to the ceiling. On an exhale, forward fold, lead with our chest, kind of like a swan dive, arms can be out, hands together, either way, hinge at our hips. On our next inhale, halfway lift, flat back. And then whenever our next exhale happens, this is where it's going to change a little bit, we're going to drop both hands down. Our feet are going to come back and we're going to, we're going to come into a plank. <clears throat> and so, again, if this is one of those moments where you're like, I can't do a plank, like, this is ridiculous, then go ahead, drop down onto your knees. And so if that's still too much, then, you know, feel free to come backwards, put a little bit more weight onto your knees, onto your legs, um, and just find that, that balance point, that sweet, that sweet spot for you. Maybe it's a little bit challenging, but not too much. And if we're in our full plank, then go ahead. We're just going to soften between our shoulder blades, bring our shoulder blades together in our back, roll our shoulder blades down away from our ears, and then also press back through our heels in our plank. And so then from here on an exhale, we're going to keep our elbows in to our body, squeeze our shoulder blades together as we lower down, and just bring our bellies, our chest onto our mat, then tops of our feet flat on our mat, and then on an inhale, we're going to take cobra. And so some of you know, if you've seen you know, pictures of people doing yoga before, you know, I think the stereotypical cobra pose, we see somebody that's in this crazy, crazy back bend that I'm not going to do because I'll probably hurt my lower back. Um, so we don't need to necessarily do that. Like, we can just bring our elbows in, squeeze our shoulder blades together in the back, 
And then go ahead and just peel our chest up slightly, not even really putting any pressure into our hands. If you want to use a little, that's fine. But just taking a little back bend like this. And so then on our next exhale, we're going to transition back to our downward facing dog. So tucking our toes, pressing down and forward into our palms. Fingers are spread nice and wide. Shooting those hips up to the ceiling, letting our head hang, our eyes back towards our feet. Taking a couple breaths here. And this is one of those times where maybe you're like, I can't do downward dog this long. That's fine. Child's pose, always there. Feel free to drop down. Take a couple breaths. You can always come back. And so on our next exhale, whenever that happens, we're just going to go ahead, walk our feet towards our hands. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Flat back. Exhale, forward fold. And then inhale, rise to standing all the way up. And so we'll do two more sun salutation A's. And so we're going to go a little bit quicker. And so whenever that next exhale happens, we're going to have hands together or apart, hinge at our hips, push those sit bones back, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, flat spine. Exhale, high to low plank. And so if you can do this in one continuous exhale, that's awesome. If not, it's really not that big of a deal. Lower down on our exhale. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. And so if that pace, and so just take a couple breaths here in our downward dog. If this pace is too fast, slow it down, make it yours. Same thing with if it's too slow and you want to move faster. And then on our next exhale, walking our feet towards our hands. Forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing. And one more sun salutation A. Exhale as we fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, high to low plank. One continuous exhale if we can. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. And so just taking several breaths here. And so if you want to kind of spice up your down dog, you can kind of see if you're, if you're able to see what I'm doing with my legs. So just kind of bending one knee at a time. So as I bend my left knee, I'm straightening my right leg, trying to get that right heel down to the mat. Then alternating, bend the right knee, try to get that left heel down onto the mat. And so just walking our dogs out, as they say. And so then go ahead on our next exhale. Just walking our feet towards our hands. Forward fold. All right. <clears throat> and so go ahead, we're going to be hanging out here for a couple seconds, or maybe about 30 seconds. But, so what we're going to do, um, we're going to start our sun salutation Bs. And so uh, just when we start with those, we're going to be in chair pose. Um, and so we'll walk through that together. So start with, we're going to go ahead, bring our feet in together. And so we want our knees close, but not quite touching, so like you can put like a piece of paper between your knees. <clears throat> and so then from here, what we're going to do is bend our knees, lower our sit bones like we're sitting in a chair. It's almost like that's why they call it chair pose. Interesting, huh? Right? And so then from here, on an inhale, go ahead, come on up, 
And so we're going to extend our fingertips up towards the ceiling and try to form a straight line again from the crown of our head to our tailbone, keeping that bend in our knees. Try to get all of our weight onto our heels. So maybe we can even look down at our toes, spread our toes, lift our toes up. Some of you are probably wondering when this is going to be over. If you need to stand up, that's okay. And so this is the beginning of our sun salutation B. And so this will be the longest we stay in this for this time. But so go ahead from here, whenever we're ready on an exhale, forward fold. And then inhale halfway up, flat back. And then exhale high to low plank. This should all be somewhat familiar. And so one continuous exhale, lowering down, elbows into the body, shoulder blades together. Inhale, cobra. And then exhale, downward facing dog. And so this is where it also starts to change up a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring our right foot forward between our hands. And so if that's too much, too difficult, it's all good. Feel free to drop down to your knees, and then maybe even just reach back. We grab that right foot, bring that forward, and then from there, come on up. And so then from here, what we're going to do is we want our, our back left foot flat on our mat. <clears throat> and so clearly having our toes on the left foot at 12 o'clock is going to be a little difficult in getting our foot completely on the ground, at least for me it is. So the other option, you know, we can have it out, toes you know, off to the left side. What we want is actually a little bit of an angle. So like the toes, our back left toes are angled to like a 45 degree angle. Our heel is still flat on our mat. That back left foot's flat. And then go ahead from here. If we're able to right knee over right ankle, come on up to standing. And so from here, pressure into that outside edge of the back left foot. Got the right knee over right ankle. If our knee is forward of the ankle, it may mean that we need to move that right foot further forward. <clears throat> and so from here, our hips, we want to kind of view them like headlights. We want them straight ahead. So if you feel kind of those bony parts of our hips, straight ahead. And then from here on an inhale, we can go ahead, extend our fingertips up to the ceiling, our gaze with our eyes out in front of us. And so then go ahead from here on an exhale whenever you're ready. Drop both hands down. Right foot comes back to say hello to the left. Exhale as we lower from our plank. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. And so you probably know what's coming next, whether you like it or not. I'm sorry. And then the left foot's going to come forward. And so we're setting up for warrior one with that back right foot. So again, the right toes like a 45 degree angle off the right side of our mat. Left knee over left ankle. Put some pressure into the outside edge of that back right foot. Get solid. And then go ahead from here, come on up to standing. Find our hips. Forward. And then whenever you're ready, fingertips up. It's also pay attention. Sometimes we like go tense with our wrists, with our hands, we're just kind of, eh. So feel free, you know, extend, energize. Notice that engagement all the way from your fingertips into your shoulders when you do that. And then on an exhale, whenever you're ready, dropping both hands down, left foot comes back, high to low plank on the exhale, onto our bellies, inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog or child's pose is always an option. And so just several breaths here. Feel free, you know, again, walk your dogs out. And yoga can also be one of those opportunities where you kind of do those weird things that you're not like, you know, probably going to do in public. Um, so for me, like a lot of times I have a tendency to kind of, you know, rock my hips back and forth, kind of open my side bodies up a little bit. <clears throat> so just do whatever's right. Do whatever your body's kind of calling. And then go ahead from here on our next exhale. 
walk our feet towards our hands. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, higher. Excuse me, forward fold. And then inhale into our chair. So feet in together, knees are close, sit bones drop, weight on our heels, fingertips come up. Couple breaths here, or one breath if you're in a hurry. And then go ahead from here on an exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot's going to come forward. Back left foot, warrior one. Inhale, rise to standing. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot comes forward. Warrior one, left side. Exhale, both hands come down. Left foot back. High to low plank. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog or child's pose. So we'll do one more sun salutation B. And so go ahead on our next exhale, walk our feet towards our hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Go ahead from here, walk our feet in. Lower our sit bones, weight on our heels. Extend through our fingertips. On our next exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot comes forward. Warrior one, right side. Pressing down to that outside edge of that left foot. Don't forget about it. Fingertips to the ceiling. And exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot comes forward. Warrior one, left side. Come on up, and inhale. And exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, cobra. And so this time, exhale, come on back to child's pose. <sighs> and so just taking a breather here. So go ahead, you guys are welcome to stay there as long as you need. You know, feel free also if you want to you know, roll over on your back, maybe grab some pillows, a blanket, and just kind of chill out, just breathe, and just kind of, you know, kind of generate some heat, so maybe start to come back down. Um, but yeah, feel free to stay there for as long as you need it. Um, yeah, just be with your breath. 
But I just, I really appreciate you, know, you guys joining. Uh, if you guys have any questions about anything we did, um, you know, any questions, especially, you know, maybe modifications, adaptations, um, anything you, you could do differently or, or maybe do in a chair or something like that, you know, feel free to reach out, leave a comment. Um, but I just, you know, really appreciate you guys joining and uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. So, um, yeah, namaste, guys. <laughs>